Spring Festival is one of the most important annual celebrations in China, featuring delicious food, wishes for fortune and quality family time. Every year since becoming leader of the Communist Party of China in 2012, before the Chinese New Year, Xi Jinping has made house calls on ordinary people. These trips have taken him from extremely impoverished areas in Gansu to the cold, harsh prairies of Inner Mongolia. From old revolutionary areas in Jiangxi to small villages rocked deep in the mountains of Sichuan province. So where did she go for this year's special spring festival visit? What did he talk about with the locals? And more importantly, why does she take the time out from his official duties to spend time with those from the most deprived areas? I'm Jenny Banez and this is Xinhua Special. On Sunday, when everyone was busy preparing to ring in the new year, she was in a remote village in southwestern Yunnan province, meeting members of the local Hua ethnic minority community. The Hua lived in relative isolation for centuries. Their lives were to drastically change following the founding of New China in 1949, and again as a result of the poverty alleviation campaign of recent years. Li Fashun, a villager with disabilities, welcomed Xi into his home and told the president how he has shaken off poverty in 2017. Under traditional decorations of red lanterns and corn cobs, the president made rice cakes with Li's family, one with the character Fu on it, which means fortune, and the other with Xi, meaning happiness. You 他他現在最關心就是我們的吃飽穿暖是不是啊他還關心他的這個政策是不是落實到到位他就是要我們要自強嘛是不是要自力更生再叫我們好好搞哪一日子可以過也好是不是 the villagers in Yunnan are just a handful of the over 19 million Chinese who have been lifted out of poverty from 2012 to 2019. The poverty alleviation campaign has remained a top priority throughout Xi's leadership. A far cry from the waving, cheering crowds associated with visits by world leaders, Xi's spring festival visits have always been a more personal affair. Just like visiting old friends and family, a custom as old as the Great Wall, the president's special house calls have also become part of his Chinese New Year tradition. The president's focus on the poorest members of society has been a common thread throughout his political career. The seeds sown during almost five decades ago, during his time in a remote village in the northwestern province of Shanxi, have been cultivated throughout his career, right up to the top job. To meet the people's desire for a happy life is our mission, she vowed when he became general secretary of the CPC Central Committee in late 2012. Three months after becoming leader of the CPC, braving a long journey with hilly and bumpy roads, she visited villages in Yuanguodoi village in Dingxi, one of the driest, least developed and uninhabitable areas of western China. Uh, she prepared New Year gifts for the villagers and every household was given 10 kilos of pork, two bags of flour and traditional spring couplets to hang from their doors. Ji Hao Yezhe is one of the impoverished villagers of the Yi ethnic minority group in Daliangshan, Sichuan province. Days before Spring Festival 2018, she tracked up the mountains. She was <laughs> His family used to live in a ramshackle house with livestock kept inside. Now he moved into his new house. He 
ایده کاسادی چه فده کاسادی می سخوی خزخه هی اینجا کنجاش موبز مو جوسه دسرشو in October 2017, when she was re-elected leader of the party, he promised that this is a society to be enjoyed by each and every one of us. On the march towards common prosperity, no one must be left behind. Just days ahead of Spring Festival 2016, Zhou Xiufa from Jing'an Shan, an important Chinese Communist Revolution site and also one of the country's poorest regions, received a special guest. At Zhuo's house, the president made dough for Ziba, a glutinous rice snack. He asked how Zhuo was doing and was glad to find out Zhuo was no longer living under the poverty line and that he had started a bamboo business. So we are the year of the year of the is a milestone year for China to eradicate absolute poverty and build a moderately prosperous society in all respects. The latest statistics show that the country is getting closer to achieving this goal. Over the past year, China's per capita GDP topped 10,000 US dollars. More than 10 million people are expected to cast off poverty, and around 340 counties will no longer be classed as poor. China's success story is made by the people and for the people. And sees such visits remind everyday families that they have not been forgotten and they will never be left behind as China draws closer to its first centenary goal, building a moderately prosperous society in all respects for its 1.4 billion population. See you next time.